<laughs> so me and Daniel just found a strip mine for endstone, we presume, which is funny because I figure we have enough of it by now, and they lit it up. I mean, I guess it'll look nicer for you, but I think somebody forgot for a second that endermen aren't two blocks tall. <laughs> So, this is definitely an update video. Honestly, I think the dragon eggs out here were not intentional, but I think they actually look, they add kind of a nice touch. So, I talked to Southern, uh, I don't know if I put this in the video, but whoever built the duper for the sand here, uh, built it improperly. You see, we had, uh, this got removed because people were farming dragons uh, for uh, dragon's breath, and so they kind of shredded everything, as dragons tend to do, and... Uh, when we needed to rebuild that, because this one works for dragon eggs, as you can see we're duping here. Uh, nope, over here, other side. Uh, we're duping dragon eggs, and all this is going to spawn and being collected. Uh, somebody built the same duper that we have on the other side for powder. And, uh, well, the recording of this is because, once again, Daniel did all the work for me when I logged out. <laughs> so, he and... Did you get any help, Daniel? Uh, not today, no. Okay, been, so... Uh, there was Mate or something one point. Matt Toyas, I don't know how to say his name. I just call him Matt. I think it's Matavis, yeah. but he'll probably get mad at me from pronouncing his name wrong. I think he did a little bit of redstone, but not too much. I think he did the majority of the ant practice, to be fair, though. Okay, so they worked on the powder room, which is something that means something else. And it uh, looks like they did just about all the wiring for this. Uh, the only thing that really there is to change are a couple things. So first off, these item streams are combined. They should probably be separate because the way that we harvest powder is different than the duper. Uh, the concrete converter, which is what you should call us because it's not really a concrete farm, uh, it's more of a concrete converter that just converts the powder that we're already duplicating. So since du powder is just going to flow through here like a faucet, all we really need to do is break the middle block of this obsidian, and then somewhere along here where it's out of the way, we can just break it on soul sand and then move it in, in a water stream, and then it'll be really, really easy to transport. And then that can just plug in straight directly into the system. But that's it. Everything looks good and is mostly functional, and we can farm stuff pretty soon here. And I am in an exceptionally good mood because today I got two fillings in my teeth, which I've known of, I've known the procedure is going to happen for like 21 to 20 days. I don't know. It's been about two or three weeks, and I've been dreading it. Because to those of you who might have never gotten fillings at the dentist, you'll know that they have to drill into your tooth, and then they have to fill it in, which is where it's a filling. But that's usually extremely painful, so they inject you with Novocaine into your gum so that it's numbed, which usually isn't that bad. I mean, it's just like a small prick, and then it's numb, and then you don't feel anything, and you're good. And then you can't eat or really talk that well after a few hours uh, afterwards, but it's not that bad. Uh, but for whatever reason, I have this personal distaste for needles. Oh my god, they just... Needles in or around my mouth, or even getting shots aren't that bad, I guess. But like, needles in my mouth, oh, that freaks me out, and I really, really, really don't like that. And I'm in a fantastic mood, because today, right before we were about to start, the dentist is like, Hey, your fillings aren't actually that big. Uh, they're actually pretty small, medium size. You might not even need Novocaine. So, long story short, I, uh, I got to do the whole procedure, all in well, without any Novocaine or any pain. So I'm in a fantastic mood. So I came to spawn to check out the items coming in, and um, something's wrong here. Can anybody spot it? Uh, I did not make this item elevator, but I'm. if I was a gambling man, I would say that this piston needs to be powered by this torch. Yeah, and it needs to be a block lower. So I think it should just be a block lower, given that the dust would hit it in that case. But it seems like... The items are only being sent up on the off chance that there's a gap in the items, and then that happens. Okay, there we go, easy fix. Just move the piston down and everything's working fine. Also with this elevator, um, sorry to TDL's wiring, but uh, I'll put a link to this in the description below, but uh, I didn't do this here, but you can easily just have a dust underneath the torch and then a repeater going to the left and a repeater going to the right. Uh, with the repeater being down a block, facing into the into a block powering the piston. This is just a less laggy way to do it, and it uses a little bit less dust. So we ran the uh, powder duper, <laughs> and apparently I had a slight oversight. For whatever reason, I did not think of this, but I have only tested this with sand, and obviously when the powder hit the first water block, it turned into concrete, and that was it.
So, we're gonna have to figure out something better. Sorry, chickens, I know he's evil. I know, guys, I know. So, the eggs coming through the portal are... Re are repairing the whole portal. Do obsidian farms work again? And I just didn't know this? Yeah, hang on. I didn't notice this. I, now I want an egg to come through because apparently it's working now. I'm gonna go and throw a block. I'm gonna go and throw like an item food. Okay. <laughs> Ready? Mm hmm. Wow, that totally regenerated it. Uh, somebody leave a comment below if this is a thing that I wasn't aware of. Let's talk about motivation, and in this case, a lack thereof. So, the past few days, I felt quite a lack of motivation for the concrete uh, converter area, and I'm not really 100% sure why that is. Um, it might stem from the fact that there's been a lot more to do than I kind of thought, and these portals are really loud. <laughs> there's been a lot more to do than I kind of thought, and uh, it's been weighing on me and that hasn't been fun and it's been really really tough getting myself to be motivated and it's been tricky with my mood as well because it's kind of a never-ending cycle of despair when you really want something done but you can't bring yourself to work on it um, because of whatever reason you just kind of burnt out on the project it's taking too much out of you and because of that you never really get anything done and because you didn't get anything done you feel really bad which makes you not want to work on it and then you see it's an endless cycle of nothing ever happens and today i mean i'm not going to say i kind of found the solution or whatever but i really feel like i found a good way to deal with it uh the reason i'm running back here is because my elytra broke um wow i haven't gone this far on my nerva without an elytra in a very long time uh, when I came in from the top of the nether, I had to actually drop down. I always fly to the Enderman farm. But uh, I was using my elytra up at the nether perimeter, which is something I've neglected to work on for a long time, for no real reason. Uh, I mentioned in the past that I was doing an hour a day, printing the melons and dragon eggs required to uh, remove the bedrock from the top of our giant perimeter, and um, that's taken a lot of work, but... I realized that I think I just needed a break from this project and a lot of times people forget that there are so many things you can actually do uh, in a world like there are a lot of different projects to work on at any given time especially on Minerva and your own single player multiplayer worlds on your own um, there are there's always something else you could do uh, so to focus so solely on one project until it gnaws at you is rather unproductive and um, uh, Minecraft is a, is a game where you can burn yourself out very quickly. I speak to people all the time who just, they were playing Minecraft for a while and they went a little too hard in the paint and then it just kind of, they got burnt out and demotivated and I deal with this in a rather, I don't know if it's unique or not, but I tend to have a few days on, few, oh crap, that happens to me all the time, oh I saved it. I seem to have a few days on, few days off kind of cycle where, you know, I'll play for a few days and then I'll slow down, play Battlegrounds or Pokemon or go outside or something, I don't know, you, you, you change it up, uh, variety is the spice of life. And, you know, working on one project, objectively speaking, can be extremely productive, but at the same time it's, you know, you're you're working with humans here. We're not machines. Obviously, if I was a program, then of course I could just work on one task forever, and then it would it would get done quickly. But it's a game. We play it to have fun, and burning yourself out is the worst way to do that. Now, let me explain why I'm, I'm why switching this up is so good for me. Uh, by taking the focus off of this project that's been looming over me. Uh, I've wanted it done, but I just, I mean, on, this is a personal thing. I truly can't explain why I've been so demotivated. I, I really can't. I, for whatever reason, I think I just got burnt out. That's the best way I can explain it. So what I'm doing right now is, well, let's pick another project that needs doing. This perimeter. Let's put in just a few hours of work. In fact, I just hit 500,000 a while back. And that wasn't even that long ago. So I must have played something like 75,000 melons today. And judging that I've got about two episodes left of Season 7 of The Walking Dead, I'm going to be placing for a little while longer. And uh, 
this kind of productivity has really, really upped my mood. Um, this day was going pretty terribly. I had a stream today that was not that great. I was in kind of a shitty mood, and this is kind of why. I get in really bad moods when I want something done that's not done, but I can't bring myself to work on it, so I feel like I'm not being productive, and it's just that endless cycle of unhappiness. And um, I, I just wanted to share this with you guys in case, I mean, we're all Minecraft players, if you're watching this video, I, I'm assuming you play Minecraft. Um, if you don't, you should probably try it out, it's a fun game. It's exactly the game that you make it, and in this case, I, uh, I made it a little too hard on myself. I was focusing a little too much on one thing without kind of zooming out and focusing on some other stuff. So, by focusing on this big project, I was able to clear my head, watch a TV show, take some personal time, um, take a break from the other project, while at the same time being productive, because that's a project that needs being done, but so is this. So, I'm able to take a break, but while still working towards an end goal. And uh, for me, uh, that's kind of going to be the rest of my day, personally. I might stream or something, but I just want to leave you guys with those words, and I uh, hope you have a nice day. Hopefully this inspires you to pick up an old survival single-player world or gets you through some future projects. Uh, but that's it for me, you guys. Thanks for watching.